prayer is not about wording something a certain way that makes God have to respond a certain way. It's accessing God's power by wording our prayers the way that's going to make the greatest difference for us or the people around us we're praying for. Does that make sense? So let me illustrate that. Uh, once in East Tennessee, I did a four-day uh, seminar. I have a four-day seminar on heaven. And we cover, you know, 900 slides, and there's lots of questions, and people enjoy seeing what the Bible has to say about heaven. And, and one time when I did this in East Tennessee, a little old lady came walking up with her walker, and, and she had a big smile on her face, and she said, Oh, Steve, I'm, I'm so happy you came to talk about heaven. I feel so encouraged. I'm 85, and I got cancer again, and thank you for coming. With, would you pray for me? I'm 85 with cancer again. And I said, You bet. You want me to pray you live or you die? She said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, we just spent four days talking about heaven and everything there is better than anything here. So if I was 85 with cancer again, I'd be saying, please pray that I'll get to go ahead and, and go to heaven. And, and so I need to know how to pray. She said, well, let me think about that. I said, well, I want to use the right words when we pray. So let me know. She said, I need to decide how to pray about it, how I want you to pray. And, and she left. She, she never came back and told me how to pray about that. So um, it's important that we word our prayers how they should be worded to accomplish what we want. When I was growing up, uh, I remember, you know, Brother John Smith would be sick, and we'd pray for him. We'd get up and say, Dear God, Brother Smith is sick. Be with him. God's probably saying, I'm with him, and he's sick. What do you want? It'd be like my son coming to me saying, Daddy, I want something from Walmart. Well, what do you want? They have toys, they have sporting goods, they have clothes. What do you want? You see, as children of the king, we have the right to ask for anything. He may say no, but he's not going to love us any less because we ask for more than he's ready to give at that point. You see, if I pray for Brother Smith to be healed because God's a great physician and, and he made us from dirt and he can fix us when we're broke. If I pray for him to be healed and he dies, then I say, praise God, he's in heaven and he don't want to come back. But if I pray that he's healed, then he's healed, then I praise God that way too. Either way, it's a win. I think sometimes we've been treating God as our Santa Claus in the sky and, and just asking him for a new want list each day, not even thinking him about yesterday. And really, there's a whole other agenda God has in mind. Let's pray for what God wants to happen and be happy when he makes that happen. And if we ask for more than, than he's ready to give right then, he still loves us the same amount. We're his children, and we have the right to ask for anything. Keep praying.